Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on same sum. <coughs> Students will learn that there are many ways to arrive at a particular number when two or more smaller numbers are added together. So say we wanted to arrive at the number 5. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. And 4 plus 1 equals 5. Example 2, if we, wanted, if we wanted to arrive at the number 6 by adding two smaller numbers together, 1 plus 5 equals 6, 2 plus 4 equals 6, 3 plus 3 equals 6, 4 plus 2 equals 6, and 5 plus 1 equals 6. So these first two examples will demonstrate to the students that you can arrive at a particular number by adding up two smaller numbers together and the two smaller numbers can be different in each case as long as they add up to the number that you want. Example 3 use the following objects to make number sentences that add up to 7. So 1 plus 6 equals 7, 2 plus 5 equals 7, 3 plus 4 equals 7 and 4 plus 3 equals 7. We also have 5 plus 2 equals 7 and 6 plus 1 equals 7. Example 4. Use the following objects to make number sentences that add up to 8. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we've got 8 objects in the form of smiley faces. And they will follow the process that we did in the first three examples. And you might lead them through the first two, say, and I'm sure they can do the others. Example 5, use the following objects to make number sentences that add up to 9. And example 6, use the following objects to make number sentences that add up to 10. So I'm sure you can give them plenty more examples and you can guide them through the first couple. And I'm sure once they get the idea they'll have no trouble whatsoever. <coughs> 